Somerset ISD is helping build our area's future first responders. With the national EMS shortage, there's a dire need to get more people trained to respond to those with heart attacks, crashes, and other medical needs. The night team's Patty Santos tells us how the training is serving a dual purpose in South Bear County. We started off by learning CPR and then we moved on to like skills, patient assessment. Somerset High School senior Alicia Rojo is one of 15 students in the district's newest EMT program. Already Rojo and her peers are getting the confidence to think beyond this class. I want to be a physical in physical therapy, but this is like a stepping stone to the medical field. Jamie Hernandez, an EMT for 21 years, is so excited to spark a love for the field for future generations. They would be able to work on an ambulance. They would be able to work in an emergency room, in a clinic. They would be able to get into other fields, such like law enforcement, military, fire department. Once they pass the national EMT exam, the high school graduates can earn $14 to $16 an hour or up to $32,000 a year. Gives them a good uh, foundation of learning the things that they're going to need um, as they go into adulthood. Um, and they're able to graduate and get a, a, a job that they can work and go to school at the same time. Hernandez says it's a big opportunity for students in rural areas. It looks good on a resume for those pursuing a career in the medical field. Students get real life experience with Acadian ambulance and the Leon Valley Fire Department. Word about the new program has spread. 21 people are signed up for next year. The most fun thing that we've done in the program has been working on the skills here in class with our friends and everything. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.